The International Monetary Fund has said the alarms ringing over America's debt crisis putting the world economy under threat. IMF Chief Christine Lagarde warned things will be far worse than the current U.S. budget standoff. If Congress fails to hike its debt ceiling like it usually has to every few years. The ongoing political uncertainty over the budget, over the debt ceiling, does not help. The government shutdown is bad enough, but failure to raise the debt ceiling would be far worse and could very seriously damage not only the US economy, but also the entire global economy. In the meantime, in less than two weeks, America will run out of money unless lawmakers agree to raise the debt ceiling. The failure will lead to devastating effects. That's the official warning from the U.S. Treasury. The department's predicting an unprecedented default with catastrophic consequences, with the collapse of the American economy sending shockwaves across the globe, ending with a financial crisis and recession worse than the 2008 meltdown. The U.S. government shutdown is taking its toll on the president's plans as well, with Barack Obama forced to cancel a trip to Asia and miss two summits. The federal stoppage has placed hundreds of thousands of workers on unpaid leave and is costing the American economy at least $300 million every day, hitting businesses and consumer confidence. Kenneth Levin from the City University of New York says the crisis has been snowballing for years. We have a twin crisis. There's a, a new normal in the economy, and this seems to be a new normal in our political system. This isn't the first time that the Congress hasn't passed a budget by October 1st, which was the deadline. It's the 12th consecutive year that they failed to met the deadline. The only reason there hasn't been a shutdown for the last 12 years, there's always been these temporary resolutions. That's the, the uh, bill for six-week temporary resolution that the House uh, Speaker of the House, John Boehner, is refusing to put before the Congress for a vote right now. So there is no constitutional mechanism. And it, that suggests some sort of constitutional crisis in a time when the economy is provoking not, serious conflict in the two parties. The, the, 